The Independence Palace, also publicly known as the Reunification Convention Hall, is a landmark in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It was designed by architect Go Viet Thu and uh, was the home and workplace of the President of the Republic of Vietnam. During the Vietnam War, the Independent Palace served as the residence and office of South Vietnamese President Ian Van Thieu. It was uh, designated as a historical monument for having witnessed during the Vietnam War the Independent Palace served as the residence and office of South Vietnamese President Ian Van Thieu. It was de designated as a historical monument for having witnessed the significant changes in Saigon's history and keeping the essence of Eastern culture. The Independent Palace symbolizes Vietnam's victory, peace, and territorial integrity. This place has a glamorous design, hundreds of rooms equipped with luxurious furnishings and decorations and an enormous and gorgeous exterior space. It is the perfect place for visitors to get away from the heat in southern Vietnam, enjoy the fresh cool air, and explore one of the most remarkable structures in Ho Chi Minh City. After the French conquered the sixth province in South Vietnam, they built Dome Palace in 1868 as a residence for the Governor General which took three years to complete. The French governor of Cochin Chin used the place from 1871 to 1887, known as the governor's palace. During the Indochina invasion, all governors general of French Indochina used the palace as their residence and working place from 1887 to 1945. On March 9, 1945, Japanese forces overthrew the French and seized the complete control of Indochina. Northern Palace was designated as the Japanese headquarters in Vietnam with the defeat of the Japanese in World War II. The French returned to occupy southern Vietnam in September 1945. Northern Palace was again designated as the French regime's headquarters in Vietnam. The French were defeated at Dien Bien Phu in May 1954, forcing them to sign the Geneva Agreements and withdraw their troops from Vietnam. The United States entered the fray to occupy the South, as a result, Vietnam was temporarily divided into two regions. The North, uh, led by the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, and the South, led by the newly proclaimed Republic of Vietnam, led by Go Dinh Diem, and funded by America. The Northern Palace was also renamed Independence Palace and became Godin Diem's office and residence. A rebellious bombing in February 1962 irreparably damaged the palace and as a result, Godin Diem ordered that a new one be built. Constru construction began in 1962 according to the design of the Vietnamese architect Go Bitu 
but Go Din Tian did not have a chance to see it because he and his brother were assassinated in 1963. Before the palace was completely laid in 1966, the new independent palace had been served as Yen Van Diu's home and workplace from 1967 to 1975. On 30th, April 1975, two North Vietnamese army tanks crashed down the walls of the Independence Palace, resulting in the Republic's fall in Vietnam, the end of the Vietnam War, and the reunification of the entire country. Nowadays, destination is still known by two names in Vietnam, the Independence Palace and the reunification palace. Independence, the palace architecture. The palace was built on a 12 hectare plot of land and includes the large mansion of 80 meter width. The palace is well known not only for its historical significance but also for its unique architecture. It is a harmonious blend of modern western and classical eastern style. Exterior. In the palace, the front yard is an overlong with a diameter of 102 meters. As soon as the visitors pass through the gate, they will see the green grass which creates a calming and refreshing feel. A semicircular lake runs the length of the yard. There are lotus and water lilies in the lake, making it resemble the peaceful lakes in Vietnam, ancient temples and pagoda. There are two green parks in front of and behind the palace. The main building has three floors, two mezzanines, one terrace, one ground floor, and a basement. The total usable space is 20,000 square meters, which is divided into 95 rooms. Each room has its own function with the corresponding architecture and decoration. After 1975, some of the main buildings, the spaces have remained in use, while the rest are used to serve visitors. On the left side of, the, of this palace facing Yen Din Min Kai Street, an octagonal house built on a high mound with an, an antique curved tile roof, creates a relaxing place. There are lush lawns, the old gardens, the precious the potted plants around the palace and four tennis court behind the main building. Interior. The hall is surrounded on both sides by the walls of the dining room and the cabinet meeting room with a, a prominent large wooden staircase in front. This hall has a lot of space, it's airy and decorated simply. After passing through the main gate, visitors must follow an arched trail around the overlong to reach the palace. Aside from the stunning staircase and hall, each room of the Independence Palace has its unique and magnificent beauty. The chamber, the room which can accommodate over 500 people, has been used for meeting receptions and cabinet launch ceremonies. The credentials room the painting a bin go dai kao, meaning the proclamation of a victory, is the most notable object in the room. It includes the 40 pieces depicting the peaceful Vietnamese life in the 15th century library. This room contains the books and research papers of many former presidents. Strategic Operation Department Room. This is the room where the military data from four tactical regions were collected. The soldiers would update, monitor, and deploy military operations using the 
come back map system here. Residents of the presidential family. Ian Van Tio, the former president of Vietnam, has the longest staying time here. Basement. The basement was designed by a lieutenant colonel engineer Pan Van Dien. The chief of the Independence Palace and is beneath the palace. The tunnel measures 72.5 meters in length, 0.8 to 22.5 meters in width, and 0.6 to 2.5 meters in depth. The basement rooms are linked by small entrance, armored walls, and ventilation systems. Other rooms that will attract visitors to interest include the ballroom, the cinema room, the reading room, and many more. Besides, other sections are now open to visitors such as the theme area. It is a display area for old articles and photographs. Visitors can not only look at the vivid photos from the past, but they can also learn more about the historical details hidden in them. Notably, there is a particular exhibition area in the Independent Palace titled From Northern Palace to Independence Palace 1868-1966. This is a fascinating attraction for history buffs because it shows the formation, construction, historical milestones, and important event at the Independent Palace in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam.